Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome back to some more Hot Wheels Unleashed. I believe that, you know, uh, in honor of uh, Forza Horizon 5 getting a Hot Wheels expansion and it's kind of in that weird uh, month-long time frame between an announcement and then a final release, uh, figured we'd play some uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed and actually play some online multiplayer, see how that environment is. I've never tried it before, but I figured today would be a good day to try that out. Alright, so it seems like that there are not too many people playing uh, these days. Gee, I wonder why. But yeah, we had to search through about two different lobbies there, both of which had just started races as I dropped in, so... Hopefully this is going to be a good match. I believe we got about three or four other people here, so, uh... Let the be... <coughs> Try that again. Let the games begin! And I forget how to do my starting boosts here, but... Uh... Again, like most sim racing content, as long as you're consistent and don't make too many mistakes, uh, you can find your way up into the podium pretty quickly. And in this case, the podium is literally one place ahead of me, so... Oh, there I am. <laughs> podium! Woo! <laughs> and I forget that apparently there might be a handbrake button, but... Just the general brake button is good enough for drifting here. So it looks like somebody else fell off. So we're now up into second place. Oh, that was a little bit odd in the exit there. Oh, ouch. Right into the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Trying not to get the uh, wind bubble storm around the Rubik's Cube and under the little pole there. So yeah, that... How did somebody get in front of me? Yeah, must have been a split path that I took the longer section, which, eh, happens. It looks like fourth place is fairly far behind because I don't even see them. They are long gone. Yeah, the amount of times that I played this track and on the landing, um, hitting a pole, yeah, just don't do that. Oh, that is... <laughs> That's the first time I've had that happen. I don't think I've ever spun out in that kind of regard. Ah, there we go. Hopefully I can catch up to third place here. We have some decent racing. Looks like two of them are bunched up. Let's see if we can catch them. We've got another lap to do, so this could be a quite dramatic final lap here. So Hyperion has fallen off, so now I'm trying to catch up to 2A racing here. Around the loop and around the corner here. I forget that Synchro because it's so fast, its handling is a little bit to be desired. Not quite uh, ideal there, a little bit hard to control, very understeery. There we are. Nice, 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 nice. Don't boost until later. There we are. Perfect. Nice. Silky smooth. So I was in second. Where did... Where did I get past? Not quite uh, ideal there. A little bit hard to control. Very understeery. There we are. I am so confused. But third place, podium position. Good enough for me. Wasn't letting me spin up my wheels at all. It was very odd. So, oh well. Starting from the back. Finally got our first boost meter. Use it up a little bit there. Catch on up to 2A. 2A hits uh, one of those signs here, so we gain up a position up into the fourth. Catching up against Hype here and here. Catches at the inside there. <laughs> Boost ramps me there, almost makes me lift off there. Got somebody doing a little bit of a shortcut there. I think that actually... That actually is a viable uh, shortcut if you're able to make it stick, but it looks like that they must have fallen off. So we're now up into second, chasing down 
uh, Patrick C here. So I'll take the inside there. Oh, go wide. Very hard to control on this kind of surface, it looks like. So yeah, let's not... Let's not do any boosting uh, on that spot there. I have a little bit of uh, trading paint there, Patrick. Boost on over here into our next checkpoint. Uh, apparently, somebody had crashed out behind us. This is probably the worst car for this course. It's not a whole lot of big straightaways or anything, but a lot of really technical corners, so having a lack of handling and a uh, over amount of oversteer. Excessive amount of oversteer. It's not oversteer. What am I talking about? The excessive amount of understeer. There we go. <laughs> Makes it for a very difficult drive here, but somehow, some way, I'm not in last. But considering how this course is going with uh, the current driving, it's not doing too well. We have finally caught up to the pack. Go up into the podium here, now up into second, covering the inside line there, 93%, 94%. Using our last little boost here, cover the inside, and we make second. That was really good. Again, uh, the majority of that race was a struggle, as you can tell. <laughs> and it's just, I can't, you can't control that car on this circuit, it's just really tight angular corners that it's very difficult to navigate. It's second place! I'll take it. So I think this might be my last race is Synchro. I do recall that I've gotten a couple of DLC cars yet. Uh, looking at this McLaren Senna here, I did get one of those. Um, also got a couple of different Acceleracers cars. So definitely want to divvy up a little bit. Try out uh, some different uh, cars here. So I guess we're going for a kind of a medium length circuit here, a couple of different laps. Uh, apply gravity on the college campus course here. So I wonder if there's something going on with my starts, like I need to be hitting A and whatnot, or if it just don't. Yeah, nothing. It's fine by me. But uh, looks like we have quite a few drivers here, about seven different cars, including myself. Uh, I do recognize this track quite well from the... This must have been a very difficult time trial for me, because I remember this very well. Of course, that doesn't really translate to my driving as we currently see it. As again, this is probably not the car I chose for this track, so I really need to find a different car. So, quite glad that this is the last... Last time I'm doing Synchro for a little bit of time yet. So, watch out for the lack of barrier. Just hit that little wall of there. Glad we didn't fall off, but... Yeah, that windy section really catches you off as you come off a hill and you go airborne a little bit, so the wind catches you and pushes you off quite badly there. Uh, but, fifth place here. Wouldn't call it catching up, but we're... Definitely in the fight to get up into our podium places here. Got a little bit of an accident coming up here between uh, Patrick and Hyperion. See if I can scoot on by. Uh, didn't happen. <laughs> so then we boost on down to our main straight here. See if we can get a little bit of a sip slipstream. Catches on the inside there. They go wide and have a little bit of incident. Uh, Hyperion takes the inside. A little bit of collision there. Trying to not be too much of a dirty driver there. Try to break early to catch the inside, but then uh, Patrick has decided to take that line and push me a little bit wide. It's uh, three wide here, going down this little loop here. I'm going to break early, let them have some issues there. Spun out. Big incident for me here boosting in probably the worst spot possible to try to gain some ground. we come on up right before our loop. So I'm going to wait, 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 and then boost here to kind of get a little bit of uh, speed and a little bit of momentum down the back side of the uh, loop. A little bit of a drift there. Uh, looks like I am driving quite like our... Uh, 
like Hyperion here, just kind of bouncing from wall to wall here. So both of our cars probably not great on the handling side of things. But I'm just trying to reduce my mistakes so I can make a little bit of ground up here. With the lack of speed going up that little area there, I probably should have, uh, probably should have used the boost to, uh, go on up there. So, taking the inside, once again, boosting a little bit there to get on up here. Gonna try braking here. Ooh, nice. Finally got that corner. Tight little hairpin there. I'm gonna boost my way down here. We're definitely not going to finish in time, but if we can make a couple of passes right at the end, I think it might be possible. Might be able to get up into the podium here. Pass Hyperion. Can we make that last pass in front of Patrick here? We got some boost. We're going. We're going. And fourth place, we've got Lockdown. Not quite podium, but uh, definitely a little bit better racing than the past couple of races here. So yeah, I am ready to give up uh, Synchro here. These, these tracks are very technical. And uh, the car just does not handle well when it's upgraded. So we'll try to change it up a little bit here. Finally, a very, very big lobby. Very excited to see what kind of racing we've got coming up now.